show you a technique well it's not a technique it's more like a method that I've been using with the macro control functions so there are many videos on YouTube about using the macro functions with an external MIDI controller which makes a lot of sense and yeah they're very cool ideas to like transitions and build ups um, I've seen a few videos on the digit tag too and on the scene tag but I want to show you another way to use these macro controls in particular the velocity macro controls so I'm gonna mute a few tracks and we wanna work we're gonna work with track number three which is that right so I'm gonna go to setup menu going down until I find velocity modulation so we have velocity modulation macro control after touch I don't know if pitch bends also yeah it is modulation wheel and breath control but of course we don't have a breath control interface built in the Digitone 2 neither a modulation wheel so we cannot use those without an external MIDI controller but we can use the velocity modulation even though we don't have velocity sensitive keys we can still set velocity values right on our tricks I'm going to press yes and it allows you to control uh, four values, four destinations at the same time with the macro control and this, this macro control is going to respond accordingly to the velocity value so right now it's not responding because we haven't set different velocity values so let's do that I'm going to open the sequencer and I have these three tricks and I'm going to start changing velocity values okay now I'm going to go back to the um, velocity modulation menu and you can see that now the macro is responding right um, let's just add another trick just for fun what it's very annoying is that every time you want to go back to the macro controls you need to dial in into the menu and go down it would be awesome if electron could um, apply like some like a direct function just to get into okay and what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna open some of these potentiometers and I'm gonna start dialing to different destinations to see what I like and that's what I'm saying like you can use this method just for sound design exploration and yeah not, not so much for like performance macro controls more like for a tool for sound design
even the overdrive routing those potentiometers are bipolar so if the parameter that you're trying to set is bipolar 2 it's gonna respond which in this case it, this one is not but yeah just same even you can affect the speed and the multiplier from your LFOs so that could be a bit of fun to try yeah, but for now, I'm just gonna just yeah some classic delay, maybe some envelope depth. values as you can see and two different parameters let's just open this one